juicy, tender, flavorful shredded beef, melted cheddar cheese on a pretzel bun. Today's gonna be delicious. Let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers. We're gonna start with the chuck roast. It's like to pat dry the meat, little olive oil binder. We're gonna season the chuck roast with this Van City grind. What I like about this, salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of citrus. This is going on the big green egg, indirect, 250 degrees until we have a really nice bark. So the internal temperature will be about 160, 175. Then we'll pull it off and we'll wrap it. Let's get this on the big green egg. Now we'll just slice up some onion. So we just wanna caramelize these onions a little bit. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of beef tallow. This has been on the big green egg for about three hours now. The internal temperature is about 170. Now it's time to put it in the pot with the onions, add some liquid to it, then get it back on the big green egg at 350 degrees until it just shreds apart. Just place the meat right on top of the onions. Some Dust Bowl Public Enemy. Worcestershire shot. <laughs> Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Wash your sister sauce. Some more tallow. Peppercini juice. And as many pepperoncinis as your heart desires. Ah, and one for the cook. Mmm. This is going back on the big green egg at 350 degrees until the meat just starts falling apart. It should just shred easy in your hand. I'll show you in a little bit. So there's no time. What you're looking for is the feel. When the meat starts falling apart, that's when it's ready. But if you must have a temperature in mind, you're looking for something between 205 and 215. Believe it or not, a chuck roast can go way above 210 before it starts to shred. Back on the big green egg at 350 degrees until it's done. Total cook time on this was about four and a half hours. And now it's time to let it rest. This smells absolutely incredible. We're gonna let this rest for about 15, 20 minutes before we start shredding it. I can't wait. It's time to shred this beef. Into the broiler until the cheese melts. This looks absolutely incredible. It's beefy, cheesy on a pretzel bun. It's gonna go great with this rare breed. Yes. Right now we have come to my favorite part of the video. I get to eat my creation and right now we got something so delicious. I'm talking juicy, tender, flavorful shredded beef, melted cheddar cheese, a little bit of American too, on a pretzel bun. Oh, yes, just calling my name. I'm hungry, baby. Mmm. Mmm. A moment of silence. Silence is over. Mmm, beef, the cheese, the pretzel bun, the little bit of pepperoncini sticking out. Mm. <laughs> so remember, if you like this content, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, leave me a comment, share it with a friend, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna go crush this sandwich and that sandwich and probably two more. I'm out, cheers.